สวัสดีค่ะ Hello everyone Welcome to vegetarian style by talk today We go to make it vegetable spring roll So I've got some ingredient here You see what we got here cabbage That you need to shred it really fine if you can and the carrot and then some big onions you know they make the sweeter and then chisaki mushroom soy salt salt oil sugar and water and this one the main thing what i really like is we call grad noodle or mung bean noodle you cannot use any another one only them one so this one the inside the spring roll the ingredient see what you can see here and we got another part of ingredient so what we got here we got oil any oil you like to deep fry and there's some spring roll carefully that we can't do spring roll without spring roll and we got flour here cell raising flour or plain white flour just add with the water to make like a paste so we need to use them to stick spring roll so two choice here or you can use the egg yolk so if you don't have flour now you have egg you can use the egg yolk or some vegan they cannot use the egg so if vegetarian you can use the egg in here so and then two choice for you here to use so egg yolk and the flour make the paste so and the spring roll so that that is the ingredient to make the spring roll so now we're going to start to make the filling the spring roll to deep fry, uh, to fry all of those vegetables so we got wok on yeah. right got a wok on now and now we go to uh, put some oil in to show you how to make filling of the spring roll put some oil in and then I'll go to put some a little bit shiitake mushroom food you chop them quite fine like this so and then you fry the shiitake mushroom food to make them uh, smell nice and get the oil out of the shiitake mushroom for a couple of minutes so like you can see there keep frying and then okay. when you think that it's a uh, couple of minutes when you think it's a key mushroom uh, smell some nice and a little bit uh, brown so you can add all of these vegetables in just add everything in one time so you can add the onion carrot Add this. It looks quite a lot at the moment. Everything here two cup of vegetable. But I got a recipe down below anyway. If you want to make anything, so we got to put everything in one pan. So and then you can okay some soy, some the fried noodles, soy sauce. So. Sugar and then some water, a little bit of water. Right. You can do like that. And now we're going to keep stirring. We're going to keep stirring. Just what to do about a half cook, you know. We're not going to do uh, 100% cook because we're going to, to make it easy to roll in. We make them soft down a little bit not uh, <coughs> so you not need to do really cool then because we go to deep fry thing roll later anyway so if you can see that you try to use two of this you know to get them to get the I don't know what you call this bam, two bam, bamboo here and then you, you're doing this 
So keep doing that. You can see now they, they soft down a little bit now. Yes, you can see. So just keep doing that. Couple uh, three minutes or five minutes to get them soft down until like uh, to make everything go very well together and to make it uh, easy to to wrap them after you did uh, after you still find here finish uh you need to leave them cool down to you know, about 20 minutes before you wrap them so you see like that yeah. so and then they come down a bit now you can see that Get you the baby a half cook. And then you just keep doing that. You can see now they're not many now. They're not look a lot like before now. So you just keep doing that. So until they uh, come down. And then that's how you're making the inside the filling of the spring roll. So I'll go to, uh, <coughs> now we go to finish them off, to leave until they, right, see there, I'll go to, you can see that, I'll go to finish them off for now, and now then you can see how it's small, coming soft down and the smaller now. So I've got to leave them down for 20 minutes and now 20 minutes now getting cool down like this you see that and now I'm going to show you how to blowing the spring roll this I think that's an important part I think you see the spring roll sheet like this you've got one angle you see there point to yourself that's how you go to lay them out and then you just put the filling in the middle here so it's just make about right not too big or too small and you put the end there over and tuck in there to yourself a bit and you can see the circle a bit and then you just roll one roll one time and then you put the left one in you see that the right one in you can see can you see and then that one keep blowing 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 until nearly the end you can see that that part left what you do you using this one the pad you already make you just put on there you know in there to the end to the end but just to make a sticking out stick together and then you just keep blowing that right to the end so now you got the spring roll like that so i'm going to show you two more to see how remember if you got some uh, uh, a little bit dough in there you need to wipe them out a bit like that because the next one when you put together they when you put next to each other they may my sticking remember one the point in one the point in, go to yourself, point to yourself, put the filling in to this corner, roll, put this point in over to you to uh to hold the, the filling inside and make them backward to you a little bit and then roll one look more time low and then put the left one in. You can see and put the right one in. You see that? And they're going to be like that shape. And then keep rolling it. You can hold it quite firmly a little bit to make them quite tight. So I like them tight. And then you see the end here. And this one, which will show you, use the egg yolk. Only egg yolk. So you can put the egg yolk a little bit on the end here like this. See that? And then you're rolling it. There you are. And now you've got a second spring roll. So 
you should keep doing that until you finish off so i do one more for you uh for anybody to make sure you know you understand right tango point to yourself and then filling in see that filling in put it the one point to yourself over tuck in a little bit back to yourself rolling Cover the uh, cover rolling. Put the left one in. Put the right one in. See there. And then keep rolling. Just make just holding quite a little bit firmly. So and use the dough again. There like that. Stick on the end. So and that's it. You got a uh, you you can make the your spin roll by yourself now. A little bit thing here I can tell you. So about the spin roll paper, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> I open them like this, you see it, because you need to keep closing every time when you take one out or two, two out, because they dry very quickly, or you can use the tea towel to cover, because it takes a long time to use the spin roll, isn't it? and they dry very quick they are, so you see the end cannot dry, when they dry, the dry they're a little bit hard work so that's a little bit tip to tell you about keep them whole like this all the time and you keep when you when you make all of them you can pack them like this you see that put them in the freezer bag and put them in the freezer how many you want it's up to you for your next time so you can cook them today and then keep them for the next time so I just a little bit tip to tell you when you take out the freezer you just leave only a couple minutes and then you need to deep fry straight away because if you leave completely default these pastry they can go like a uh, more water on them and thing and they they stick together and they broken when you deep fry it it's better to deep fry when you take out from the freezer just a couple minutes so that's a thing I can tell you. Maybe some people know, maybe some people don't, sorry. And then that's what I can tell you. And now, that see I can... So, I'm going to show you how to roll, that see, yeah? And now, I make some a little bit before. Now we go to show you how to we go to deep fry to make them look way benign than so okay so that is ready to deep fry now so we just move all of this and then we just put put the wok on and then just about one liter you need we need a lot of oil today so for to deep fry the spring roll so we need them quite a lot now then okay we just to do about like a <clears throat> make the oil hot first and then you low down to the medium heat to, to deep fry go slowly until they golden brown so and now we just wait a little bit of the oil to, to go hot so I can try one in first to see what they like no so quietly Right, just to wait for the oil to be hot. And now that I think if the oil is going to be a bit ready now, so I'm going to put some in to see. Yeah, I think a little bit, maybe a little bit more, but we can put in now. So I'm going to put in. So you need the deep frying, you need quite a lot of oil to deep fry spring roll. So I'm going to put, put about egg in there. So you can see now they bubble up a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, when your oil really are uh, quite hot, ready to uh, put your spring roll in, and then you can load the fire to the medium a little bit because it end up if you got very very hot oil they be burn over uh, burning before they cook properly 
inside, you know, so it's better to, uh, better to, <laughs> better to be a be medium heat one, so like that. So you put them in, and then you, you keep, I like to keep a little bit stir disturbing them. I think they, uh, uh, they creep be better and longer, and then they also, uh, if you keep doing stirring them, turning a little bit there, and then they, they, they creep be better and they look more nicer, that's the way I, I think. So we just keep doing that until, until they go in the golden brown. You can see that, this is about uh, 5 to 8 minutes gone. You see there how uh, beautiful uh, spring roll. You need to define until they really are uh, golden, very beautiful golden brown like that. So, and now that's it. We got, yeah, we got a uh, uh, spring roll ready. So I'm going to take them out now for ready to serve. So we we'll get them out. Yeah, so make the pan now a little bit. Now then, Oop. so now then we can keep a bit hot. So put in our spring roll in, ready for serving. So we got a. Uh, we can eat with plum salt with the chili and sweet chili salt. So. You can see that, how beautiful. You can make your own spring roll now and then keep them in the freezer or just take out when you need to eat. So we got uh, the night with plum salt and sweet chili salt and then I have both of them sell in Tok Thai food. They maybe they want some. So that's it for showing you in how to make the spring roll today. So I hope you got something out of it, uh, uh, a little bit of thing out of what I'm showing you today. If you like my video, please, can you uh, press like, subscribe, and press share for me as well, please. Thank you for that. For, thank you very much for everything, for you watching. So today, and that's it. Yeah. See you. See you next time, my next video. Thank you. Bye.